Welcome back, I hope you're well. Today I'm going to be doing my wheelchair accessible garden transformation. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and let's go and have a look at my garden. So since getting my batek, we have needed to make the access to the garden from the front of the house much, much easier. So one thing Sean has done here is get rid of the flower bed. Before, I would just have to navigate this little tiny path which was quite awkward. But now having got rid of all of those um, obstacles, it's really nice and easy for me to get through. We're really lucky that at the side of the house we have completely leveled access through to the garden. So I can pull up like this. Now because of the batik, it's quite a wide reach, but I can actually reach the door. If I just move myself forward, this, And I can get through like this. So we're down the side of the house now and the path is nice and wide. Um, as you can see, Sean has been very, very busy. This is some of the rubble left from when he's done the transformation. I can still get past. I think we're going to be using this for firewood for the winter, which is coming. We've got the washing line down the side here so friends don't have to see our dirty laundry when they come. And then we are out into the garden. Okay, so I'm really, really lucky that we have complete level access in and out of the garden. So when I'm in my batek, I can just come through the side and through into the conservatory. And now what I'm going to do is change out of this wheelchair into my other wheelchair and show you around the garden. Now, let's go out into the garden! Woo! <laughs> oh! Now, I'm going to show you a before and after. This is quite a transformation. Garden! Into the garden! Woo! So, as you can see, the biggest transformation is that Sean has redone the patio. Not only is it bigger, but it's also light in colour as well, so it really opens up the space. Sean did all of this with his own bare hands. He worked his fingers to the oh, bone. Enough, enough, enough. <laughs> and moved tons and tons of earth. But it's absolutely fantastic. I can move so much more freely around. We've got all this space here. We've even got our own little dance floor here. <laughs> slash exercise area. <laughs> When we first moved in, we kind of made do with sort of inherited outdoor furniture, which was so uncomfortable and it was also falling apart. I don't know if you remember, Sean, but those chairs, the banana chairs we would sit in and all of a sudden it would like collapse on you. Yeah, I've still got them in my little shed. <laughs> Have you still got them? For visitors. It looks like that and that's really uncomfortable. It's not. Isn't it? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> but Sean um, bought these um, a couple of years ago and they are fantastic. They're also so, so comfortable as well. When I wasn't very well a few months back, I was able to lay in the garden and have a little sleep um, while I was sort of recovering. Yeah, and it's so nice. We've got this kind of little setup here where we can sit. And then here is where you can catch the sun in the morning as well. It almost looks like it's set up for a chat show, doesn't it? <laughs> But it's really, really nice to catch the morning sun here and we can just sort of like um, move everything around and make it work for us depending on where the sun is because the garden is quite small. We've also got this really lovely umbrella because we are a west facing garden so we get a lot of sun and also we're very sheltered so it gets really hot in here which I'm not complaining about because when we first moved in we had about 200, 100 foot high trees. Oh, Sean! <laughs> <laughs> we had about um, 100 foot trees, Lelandis, which didn't let 
any <laughs> light in whatsoever so we were sometimes just in constant shade the whole day which used to really depress me because you know I couldn't get out much as it was and I wanted to enjoy the garden but I just couldn't because of those horrible trees which is why we've been able to do this transformation now because we can use the garden a lot lot more come on let's have a look at some more there you are. So here is the, um, the garden bed, flower bed, isn't it? Garden bed. I'm not much of a Whatever. gardener yet. So this was a Her flower bed. bed. This was a yeah, a big flower bed, but it came down to about here. I think I've got some photos which I'll insert, but Sean's whole vision was to try and open up the garden and make it as accessible and have as much space as possible. So he's reduced the size of this bed and made it a lot thinner. And what we do is, um, we do, well, Sean does a lot of cooking. So what we've done is we've planted Being lots. a chef and all. Being a chef and all. We've planted lots of herbs in here. And also we've brought a little bit of Australia back with us. And um, we've got a nice bottle brush. And this is beautiful in the springtime when it flowers. <laughs> and then over here, we have Sean's new shed. More of a cupboard. Yeah. <laughs> Outdoor which, cupboard. Which is great because we had this big dilapidated um, shed that was falling apart. I couldn't get into it. We just kind of like stuffed loads of things in there and it, it would just just didn't work for us. So Sean got one of these which has worked really, really well. Also I don't have to really go in there and use it, but if you did want to use it, the front bits open out and then this loop opens up as well which is working really well for us and he's also got his barbie up here so this is very much sean's area but it's opened up so much more space for us okay so if some of you were looking closely you will have noticed in the background that we have got a brand new spa a clever spa which i never thought that i would be the owner of a spa but sean really really fancied getting one and i was like no 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 and then he got one and now i absolutely love it a little bit difficult for me to roll across the grass but Sean has got some ideas I think he's planning on doing some nice decking and making sort of like a foldable ramp and things yes <laughs> so that will be great so check out for that probably be sometime next year now we're going to cut to some footage of us setting up the spa and we're going to talk a little bit more in depth about the benefits and how this has been for us as a family oh there it is look at you he-man it's supposed to be 30 35 kilos, kilos this you've got to have two people to lift it look at you go sean to the machine mm. oh <laughs> 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 Careful, Sean, you'll break your wrist. <laughs> oh. Right, let's get this baby out. Okay. Ooh. That's it. That's it. Can be stored in your garage or loft. Yeah. <laughs> Shed. Can get that out of the way. Right. It's probably only going to be out for a month or so now because we're late in the season. But mm. we're very late to late the game, never. aren't we? Better late than never. It went out pretty easy, didn't it, Sean? Yeah. What did you say? Like five three, minutes. five minutes? Yeah. yeah. My camera ran out of space halfway through. Mm. Uh, <laughs> what are you doing? Classic. <laughs> um, that hasn't happened before. Oh, bad form, bad form. Um, what are you doing now, Sean? Putting on the filter. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the moment that you have all been waiting for. Yeah. It's the filling up time. <laughs> Winds are picking up and the storms are brewing. Morning. The bloody hell do you call this? How is it? Uh, living the dream. 
dream, Jim. Living the dream. Do you like a pina colada? Yeah. Okay, so it's been a long, hot day. Oops, I've been editing, and I find that I get quite a tension headache, lots of muscle tensions, and there's nothing quite like having a nice spa in the evening. So I'll just show you how I get in. Come up to the spa like this. Always make sure you've got a towel. Um, brakes on. Come up as close as possible. Brakes on. Move forward in the wheelchair. Uh, this. Trailing hand, leading hand. Move on to the spa like this. And then plonk in. Come on, Jim. It's time for the hot tub. But now. Now. Switch on those bubbles.